I were I'm, I'm working from home at the moment and I need to connect to the company via VPN. Yeah, funny enough, I just literally helped somebody on the phone with this. I am online. I can use Google and receive my private mails, but connecting via VPN is not working. Server is online. Password correct, but no connection to the company is built up. So it, it's it's he's not um, um, not able to connect. So hmm, I wish I had more details to resolve this properly, but we know some facts. We know it's from home, and that it's a request to connect to the company via VPN, right? The main reason to use VPN is so you can connect to a different network. In this case, it's user's company. I am online. I use Google and receive my private mails, but connecting via VPN is not working. So if you're receiving your private mails on, on through Google, that means your internet is working. So we now know that that step of troubleshooting is, is done. However, I would have you try other websites aside from Google, just to make sure that it's not uh, some kind of a, a proxy issue or a DNS type of issue. But if you're not connected to the VPN and you're working from home and Google works, chances are, you know, proxy is not going to have any effect. Proxy, for those people who don't know what the proxy is, it's a setting that um, is within... I'll show you. Internet, uh, just enter options. I'm very tired, guys, so um, I'm, I'm a little sluggish. I apologize at this time. So here is the proxy settings. If you open up internet options and then go to the tab where it says connections, and then you go down to LAN settings right here, you can see that there are some uh, settings for you to change in regards to proxy settings. Here's one that's set up right here. And it would look something like this. A lot of times you would just say use automatic configuration script. In this case, we have this one here. And this is just an example. Um, the company I work for will have very similar um, setup, but it could be like anything. I can change this to whatever the proxy is and all you have to do is just make sure that this is correct in the sense is that you compare yours to the user's computer to make sure that's running and and that's not the issue here but i kind of wanted to touch on that so you guys know in the future in case that this was deleted or removed uh, what proxy does is basically uh, routes your traffic uh, through a through a certain server that controls access to certain websites so proxy server can block certain websites from being accessed and it's also used to monitor network or slash internet traffic so this is a server that routes uh, and and filters any traffic or any access to the internet and it can record the you know things that you're visiting on the internet or or our uh, local network websites i should say websites because you know you can have local websites or you can have obviously internet websites so that's what i mean websites so uh, whenever you are using this uh, it will block certain ones like it doesn't for example want you to go to youtube.com proxy server will be blocking this um, or can block this so got to make sure that these settings are correct so that's a, just a one tip right there since we're at it and um, and of course you know in this case google and works and receive private emails it just means your internet is working uh, so i'm assuming you don't use google for work some people use google for work and that's fine so you must be using like outlook or something let me know if you actually happen to see this video marion Server is online, password correct, but no connection to the company is built up. So this is where I have questions. Is I, If you see the server is online, that also another indicator that internet is working. Because whenever you pull up a VPN to look through the server list and you select one server that you want to connect to, they wouldn't even show up if you weren't online. 
So servers are online. The reason you see them is because your internet is working and you can reach the servers. You can see them because your internet connection is working fine. Password is correct, but no connection to the company is built up. So here is where I would ask, what is the error? Or does anything happen? You know, at some point there should be an error of some sort. And for those reasons, I would, I'm going to keep this ticket open. And if you can send me, uh, I'm not saying, um, you can send me a screenshot of the error as long as it doesn't have your company's information or your personal information. Okay. Make sure it has no, your personal information, but you can send me a screenshot of this, or you can just respond to me and, and tell me what that is. Because you could say wrong password. It could say rejected by the server, which could mean that you, I don't know, no longer have access. Uh, there are other weird things that can happen with VPN. You can be, I've seen VPN get stuck in the sense where if you, for example, use the different computer and use the VPN on it and haven't logged out properly out of it, it can have its connection stuck onto that computer thinking, and the server, this is a server fault, the server would assume that you're still connected on another computer and it would reject the connection on the new computer. So that's one possibility. And I w it, just as a um, quick solution, I would try different servers. You know, if you have more than one server, try a different server, see if that works. Go uh, check your account to make sure it's not locked. You can also be rejected from connecting or not able to connect to a server, to a server if your account in Active Directory is blocked. So you can look up your account and see if it's locked out. This usually happens whenever you try, you know, your password, whenever you try wrong password multiple times. It could also mean that your password has expired and you haven't changed it on time. This will also block VPN access. So it, these are some things you can check or have the IT check for you. If you're not IT, I'm not sure. But uh, aside from that, I would need an uh, error error message that, that you're receiving. All right, I'm going to reply <clears throat> and I'm going to say, hello, this is Irvin with PC support. I have your ticket about VPN not working. Did I VPN not working? You know, and, and uh, actual user that I've just, uh, uh, in my actual company that I work for that I just help, I talked to them on the phone. I found that to be the easiest way to, um, to, to uh, you know, troubleshoot these type of things. If you're help desk, make sure that user is doing this correctly because there's a, sometimes you, um, you can't, you can uh, mess up on how you log in. So for example, if you're logging into some of them, they'll, you'll have a login ID, then you'll have a password but the password will be a combination of your secure pin plus the duo code, for example, or, you know, those codes that you get to sign into websites that are randomly generated. So it'll be a combination of those sometimes, or, you know, your password plus your randomly generated code. So make sure that that's being done right. But on this one, I'm going to say, please send me a screenshot of the error if any i've talked about possible solutions for this issue and of course you can have you know an account that's been disabled like your vpn login that's been disabled of course check that